So Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, it is one of the best games I have ever played. <laughs> uh. I'm gonna die. <sighs> oh! That was so he went super speedy! This isn't a Sonic game! What? Oh, I can't believe I just did that. I swear, bro. So I replayed Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, a game that originally released on the Nintendo Wii U in 2014. This game is 10 years old now, and we have not got a new 2D Donkey Kong game. Nintendo, what are you doing? Anyways, it released on the Wii U, and then it released on the Nintendo Switch in 2017 or 18. I must, I think it was 18. I, I can't fully recall the actual release date of the game. But anyways, I replayed it after many years of not playing it, and apparently I originally played it on Funky Kong mode. I, I didn't know. I didn't know what I was doing back when I first played this game, but I recently replayed it all the way through to the very end. Let me just say, wow, um, what an amazing experience. I mean, an interesting experience for me to say the least. It was very difficult in a lot of ways if you play it the correct way that it's intended to be played. It's a very challenging game. Uh, not as hard as some of the older Donkey Kong Country games, but I will say that Tropical Freeze is a very magical experience. I say that because the the soundtrack in this game, wow. The soundtrack in Tropical Freeze is one of the greatest soundtracks I have heard in a 2D platformer. It is so, so good. Like you're playing through these levels and you are so invested in the levels, regardless of how many times you die, the music is the best part. The music is such a big part of the charm within this game. I think the music is fantastic in Tropical Freeze. Everything about the music is is one of Nintendo's best. It's it's peak. It's absolutely, it's just peak. There are birds in my wall, by the way. Maybe bats, I don't know, but I always hear them whistling around and it's kind of weird, but like, I don't know. It, it's just, it's just a thing. <laughs> So just like your usual typical 2D Donkey Kong platformer, you get Dixie Kong, Diddy Kong, and Cranky Kong, which you can utilize to give you more health, and they have different abilities. Cranky Kong can bounce up and down, Diddy Kong can just simply float, and Dixie Kong gives you the extra elevation of float, which if you played older Donkey Kong games, then you've seen that before, and it's very, very helpful. I never really used Cranky Kong because I felt like he was the least helpful to me personally, but I don't know all like the ins and outs of this game. So he was my least favorite of the three. I normally used Dixie Kong the most because I thought she was the most helpful personally. Now, when it comes to the game itself, there are six main worlds in the game. You go through each one, there's like five to seven levels in each world, give or take. The boss fights, I will say, are very challenging in their own unique ways. They gradually get more difficult, it seems, as you progress through the game. The bosses are very unique there's like a dolphin boss there's a, a polar bear there's the final boss of course there's some other interesting ones and I think they're really cool and I like what I like about this game is it's challenging enough to where it gives you the vibes of what Donkey Kong 2d platformers should be a little bit of a challenge but at the same time since it was a little newer not too hard but definitely still very challenging to where it's like oh this is giving me the Donkey Kong Country vibes that it's supposed to give me also, I gotta mention that puffer fish boss. <sighs> oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> ah. He's ticked. I'm dead. 
I am freaking dead any second. screwed. We're, we're not screwed. What? Ah! They couldn't hit the buttons. Oh my gosh. Oh. Hoverfish is freaking dead. I hated that thing so much. Now there's also a shop as there is in every Donkey Kong Country game. And in this, you get the red balloons, which are your lives, the green balloons, and the blue balloons, which give you different things such as um, saving you from falling and things like that. But I did not use those. However, I will say at the very end of the game, I was using items to where you had invincibility or you could buy extra hearts, things like that to help you through the game. But I did not use them until the very end of the game because the game the very end is very difficult, very frustrating, very annoying. This game broke me multiple times. I will say this game definitely broke me multiple times. And this ain't even as hard as like Donkey Kong Country 2. But it's it's very challenging to where if you don't hit the next checkpoint, it might get you a little frustrated sometimes. And to be honest, personally, in my eyes, I'd rather be playing a Dark Souls game, a From Software title, Elden Ring, you name it. Only because those are more my my niche when it comes to dying i don't mind it as much because i'm learning throughout the fight whereas a 2d platformer when i die it's just stupid mistakes it's me feeling like i'm just an idiot you know so i have to say donkey kong country tropical freeze i don't have a lot of complaints about it i mean i made the game more difficult for myself personally so realistically that is not a downer at all you can make it easier you can make it harder depending on if you want to use the items or not and the items will help you get through the game much easier or you can use the funky kong mode which i don't know if i really mentioned that i did at the beginning but you can use the funky kong mode whereas with funky kong it's, it makes the levels much much easier and i from why what i know i don't think you really you might die but it's less likely because he has the surfboard you can bounce on things with and it's just so much easier with funky kong versus playing as donkey kong himself and they did that on purpose for people who want to do that and i like that it has that option i really 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 like that it has that option because not all the donkey kong country games have that option for people who just get so frustrated and don't want to play in that kind of way and want to make it easier on themselves just to have fun and i think that that's really nice of nintendo to have done that back when they made this game now i didn't really go into depth with the worlds and the levels but i will say that like every single world was just just perfect i i don't have any complaints at all i really think that every world was unique in its own ways i think it had some crazy levels there was like a dinosaur related level there was like crane machine type things there was all kinds of unique ideas between the enemies and between the soundtrack and the level building like it was all really well done in my opinion to where like every level was more and more unique each time just it gave me like revisiting this game gave me the mario wonder vibes even though mario wonder was way later i just haven't played this game in so many years that it felt fresh and brand new to me versus something that came out last year because i didn't really remember much from this game and replaying it revisiting it i should say it gave me a lot of what i didn't expect really it gave me a lot of things that really surprised me and it did frustrate me sometimes yes but there was times when I would make a mistake and realize that I made that mistake and would fix it. And another thing is, is that you really have to be patient because the thing is, is with the levels in really any 2D platformer type game, especially Donkey Kong, you're going to die. And because you don't expect what's coming ahead on the levels, you're going to die and you're going to learn from that and beat it the next time. And I think that's, that's kind of what makes it fun in in some ways like you learn from each time you die and that's just kind of kind of the magic that donkey kong has always had in his games so if i had to rate the game i don't want to give it a perfect 10 just because of 
my own personal reasons with the game, but I'm gonna give it a 9.5 out of 10. Some of you might give it a 10 out of 10, but me personally, the game is 9.5 out of 10 for me. I still really love the game. I think it's absolutely fantastic. It's really, really good. Um, I really want Nintendo to just give us a new one, please. It's been 10 flipping years since Tropical Freeze released. Nintendo Switch 2, Super Nintendo Switch, whatever the heck this console is gonna be called in 2025. Can we please just give us a new Donkey Kong game? At the very least, like, can you port like Donkey Kong 64 or something, even though that's a 3D Donkey Kong, but I'm just making a point that Nintendo needs to give us that new Donkey Kong game. Like, please, he's in the Mario movie. Like, he's got more popularity because of that. So a Donkey Kong game would sell really well. But we won't find out find out until later this year or next year if that's even going to happen at all. But I hope it does. But anyways, that's my thoughts on Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. I just wanted to make a video, a re-review kind of video on the game as I haven't ever reviewed this game. And I haven't played this game in many years. And it's kind of something that I'm doing with certain games here or there. I did it with Mario Odyssey. Go ahead and go check out that video if you have not already. I'll It'll be right at the end here somewhere. Um... It, that was also a fun little video I did. But anyways, guys, thanks so much for tuning into this video. If you like this video, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, as I talk about all different kinds of Nintendo-related games. And with the June coming up, there's going to be a lot of new game stuff coming out. Lots of things to talk about. Lots of things to do. Lots of games to stream. You name it. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Peace.